Welcome. Today I am doing chapter five, drawing on your childhood artistry from the book called Drawing on the Right Side of Your Brain by Betty Edwards. And I am just sharing my journey with you as I do the exercises in this book. So uh, Betty talks about in this chapter how at about age 10 we just come, come to some sort of crisis period. We start out as infants uh, scribbling and as toddlers and then we start to create symbols. These are some of my early symbols of eyes and smiles and rays for the sun and uh, then we start to create storytelling. Um, we will start to add even more detail and tell stories with our pictures. And then, uh, like I said, around age 10, 9 or 10, there's a, a really a passion for us to draw realistically and get away from the symbols of childhood. We start to do more symbols, yet we are um, less confident than ever. And the ch one of the challenges and the exercise in this chapter is to draw your childhood home, as you would have at uh, maybe age 7 or 8. And... Um, she says at this point you have a whole collection of symbols that you use to create stories like your childhood home. She says she has never seen someone who doesn't add the doorknob. Everyone adds the doorknob because that's how you get into the house. So uh, she, if you want to at this point stop this video and do this exercise, grab a piece of paper and a pen or pencil and draw your own childhood home as you remember and then come back to this video at this point. And also I have, will put links below to the two previous exercises I did in earlier chapters. One was drawing upside down and one was doing a vase exercise where you flip it around. And the whole point is after you have done this picture, she asks some questions like, uh, did you feel satisfaction and were you kind of in a zone? That's the zone of the right brain. You get out of your verbal analytical mode and you're just in the zone. And that's the zone that she wants us to get in when we're drawing because it's very focused and it's not based on symbols actually. It's um, based on um, the, how to see properly so we can draw and we're just focused on the task at hand and uh, she in this book she wants us to in this chapter she wants us to just get further comfortable with that zone shift and uh, she says we're not necessarily conscious of the shift but uh, if we can get um, at least aware of what it feels like in both modes she says in this mode when you're in the right mode maybe time will pass just like it flows and um, you won't be very conscious of it or if there's something distracting like people talking you'll just uh, block them out if someone tries to talk directly to you it will be kind of a struggle for you to answer verbally because uh, you will have to again shift out of right mode and back into left mode so um, after you've done this drawing uh, she talks about um, at this stage uh, when the children are uh, in middle school 11 12 13 they start to draw realistically but are less sure than ever um, the boys will draw war scenes and cars and uh, maybe even grotesque things like eyeballs and um, with like blood and stuff behind them and uh, girls will draw horses and pretty girls uh, pictures with mountains and lakes and uh, beautiful scenery for example many uh, kids at the middle school age will try to draw a cube but because they lack the tools necessary their uh, analytical and verbal knowledge of a cube says it has right angles and yet it goes back in space but um, it, they can't do it correctly. And so um, they really need to learn to shift uh, to their right mode so that they can use the tools of drawing and perspective to get the picture to look real. And so how do we shift from the left mode to the right? Well, the solution is to present the brain with a task the left brain either can't or won't handle. So that's the challenge and the next videos and the next exercises that I will share 
in the next videos we'll uh, deal with that and I will share my journey with you and am very grateful that you're on this journey with me and excited to share that with you so stay tuned for the next chapter and video soon